Hi guys, it's Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and this is the introduction video to my paid tutorial series, Fire and Ice Kitchen Utensils. Now, this is the first time I've gone into um, doing something more practical, like kitchen utensils rather than jewelry, but all the techniques that I'll be teaching in this tutorial could be used for jewelry as well. And the reason why it is um, called fire and ice is because I've got two different techniques done in a similar way, one in fire and one in ice. Now let me just show you a little bit of a close-up on these and you can see just how sparkly and all the depth. They're done with translucence and uh, metal leaf and all kinds of things. So you've got two really beautiful looks. They can be combined together so you have um, a set that has fire and ice or you could just do um, one color in the set. I'm going to show you how to, to put this technique onto glass such as the salt and pepper shakers but you could also and I'm also going to show you how to put them onto utensils like these large ones but you could also do it onto uh, cutlery pieces and that kind of thing. I've got a couple of other examples of places you could use a technique technique like this. Um, well, this is similar. This was actually a set I made for my parents a long time ago and uh, I borrowed it from them so I would have some more samples. But it's not exactly the same. It has a little bit more of a watery look rather than ice, but it's similar and it has, uh, it's real pretty. There's um, a cake server and a spoon. Um, in this set here, I also made for them and they brought it over was um, this is a, a bottle stopper and a bottle opener of course and the techniques that we learn making the utensils could be used in these types of projects as well and then lastly I have almost the same as the other salt and pepper shakers but the colorway is just a little bit different this one has a little bit of purple in it um, and it really has a neat sparkly crackled um, ice look to it. You're going to learn a lot in this tutorial. You can use it in many different projects and uh, in many different ways. Uh, we'll see you in the next video of this series.